Up next, we got Planet Edge, also shot at Wright State. Why Planet Edge? What does it mean? It has no connotation whatsoever, therefore no one can judge us by our name alone. How did you Planet Edge come about? Well, I, I played acoustic guitar, like solo, as Dobie Willis, and that absolutely flopped. And I'd known Dave from a band he was in, which I'll tell you more about, and we just kind of got together and picked the bass player for another local band. It, this is just basically a side project for him, but we take it pretty serious, but it's cool. We're having a good time. Uh, I was in a band called Liquid Drano, and I played drums for them, and, oh no, they did all right, you know, we did pretty, we had a lot of fun, but, I don't know, when we started going to college and stuff, it just kind of fell apart, so, you know, then we started up, Will called me one day, he calls me up one day, and he's just like, come on over, you know, let's, let's jam, so we, we play, and it sounded awful, it was the worst sound I've ever heard in my life, and I didn't know how it was going to come out, but luckily, Pat came into the picture, and made it real nice, so that's what happened, you know. <laughs> Do you see uh, music as a career choice for you, or just what you're doing for yourself now? Absolutely not. I don't know, I mean, it'd be really nice, but to be realistic about it, very few people ever, like, make it, and if you do make it, for how long are you gonna make it for, you know? <laughs> but, I mean, God, if we were even to make it for 10 minutes, I mean, that'd be great. I mean, I'd love to play, you know, but I just want to be realistic about it so we don't end up flop flopping real bad, so, you know. I would give my eye to to make this a career, but unfortunately, like Dave said, it's pretty much, uh, it, it's not going to happen. If we were offered, like, millions of dollars, we'd definitely do it as a career, but right now, I'm going to be a school teacher someday. But then again, the Smashing Pumpkins are huge because of the seven-inch record, so there's always hope, but reality speaks louder than seven inches do, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, what do you enjoy most about performing live in, in front of an audience? What do you get most from it? Uh, the adrenaline level. I like to jump around a lot. Sometimes I probably overdo it. I get laid a lot. I'm just kidding, of course. And uh, uh, the, the adrenaline level, I really like the energy. And it's, it's kind of a neat feeling because I can hear the guitar screaming and, and the bass thumping. And I see, I see Dave beating the drums. It's, just, it's really, really powerful feeling like I'm driving a car or something over the people in the audience. Adrenaline. And what do you get from performing live? What I get from performing live? I just get... I don't know, a really good feeling come over me. It's just like really fun and stuff. It's something I've always wanted to do. And, and so now when it happens, I'm like really excited about stuff. And very big adrenaline thing, man. It's like an unbelievable like rush that enters your mind, whether I'm playing in front of five people or, you know, a lot of people. And uh, the Dayton musical scene, local bands, uh, how do you feel about it? I think it's completely bogus. I think it's absolutely ridiculous that, that, that a group of people find a band they think is cool, so they all flock to see them in record numbers. All the bands that have been working really hard and diligently are completely ignored just because they're not cool enough or not hip enough. And it really bothers me because I think the reason I, I tried to organize this show this evening was to, was to show people that here's five bands that are doing something locally. Come out and see them. It's free. No charge. Eat pizza all night long instead of trying to suck up to a club owner to get a decent night. I think it's better we just do it ourselves. But the, I think the date music scene has a lot to offer. But unfortunately, people are too close-minded to discover it's really out there. But I mean, don't get me wrong, I know it's like a cynic. I really support what's going on. I just wish that more people were more open-minded. Um, how do you feel about this I thing? Think, I think it's pretty good, but, you know, I mean, you can say, you know, boy, that sucks that all these people go see this one band stuff, but that just means they dig their music and stuff, which I think is totally cool. I'd really like to see, I know there's enough good enough, like they're all good enough, like, I think a lot of these bands are really good enough to, like, you know, hit it big one day and stuff. It's just a matter of people coming to Dayton and seeing it, and I don't know if it's ever going to happen because Dayton's not that big of a city, you know. Maybe one day if some band really shakes it up, which is totally possible, you know. But it's it's going to take some doing because, you know, Dayton's not known. And uh, see, the thing about it is, is if one band gets signed or one band hits it, you know what I mean, one day, then other people are going to wonder what, you know, the rest of Dayton's like, you know. It, happens in every every city, you know? Every city everywhere, like, that ever gets big, like, you know, R.E.M. comes out of Athens, so everybody immediately flocks to Athens thinking, oh, what a wonderful place, this place is great, you know? I mean, there's so many good bands everywhere, you know? It's just a matter of getting seen, you know? One person getting seen, 
or a whole banjo scene, it doesn't matter, just as long as it happens once. What do Will and Dave and the rest of Planet Ed uh, see for themselves in the future? Well, I, actually, my, this is my fourth year in college, and I'm going to teach political science to high school kids someday, so that's more the reality than the band. But unfortunately, I like to do either one to be great, quite frankly. Before us, I see us really like, you know, maybe doing like a small little tour around America or something like that, and putting out more recorded stuff. I mean, now that we've figured out how to do it, like, you know, we put out one, so we, we know how to do it, so, you know, let's keep on doing it, and maybe even like helping other bands do it and stuff, you know, trying to get like a little thing going. So, you know, 